<laughs> Sandy, how was your trip? It was great. I finished Assassin's Creed. Nope. I started playing Assassin's Creed 2 now. I have the Assassin's Creed. <laughs> 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 but that, that is the better one. So actually, the four fourth is one's pretty I good. Talking about the first one the whole time. Yeah. The fourth one's really good, man. Yeah, the bugs. I've had some great fun with the bugs. Yeah, I, I have like, invisible like people around. Ants. I have, I have quick traveled to a certain location, and first of all, I'm falling from the sky what? down to the port. Okay. And then my boat just starts falling <laughs> in front of me, like it starts nose diving into the water. And what it just, the? Like, what? It's sick. Very crazy. Yeah. Some yeah. easier. Yeah. But oh is my it, God. Isn't that how they explain fast travel? <laughs> <laughs> Thor like throws you. Suck you into the air and yeah. then you precipitate back into. No man, it's room. Thor. He throws you. No, it's Poseidon. Right. <laughs> that makes more sense. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> another bug was that the boat. Wasn't there when I fast traveled, so all my crew were just in the water drowning. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> and they just slowly just sink to the bottom. <laughs> like and on that note, let's kick it off. I'm Adam, like usual. We got Kuang Wa, who hasn't joined us in a very long time. Andy, Brandon, Matt, and Sean. Yo. So, uh, first off, before we get into the games we played, they released numbers for actual systems sold in 2013. Mm -hmm. As of December 28th, PS4 sold 4.2 uh, million consoles, and Xbox One sold 3 million. Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, so, is that shipped? Sold. 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 How many we used? <laughs> <laughs> Five. Wait, how, can, can you describe how many we used in memory blocks? <laughs> How many memory blocks of Be serious? We, Twenty thousand. As someone who, blocks. as people who own 3ds's, we're very concerned about block storage. It just yeah, makes okay. complete sense. Yeah. For the world. I say Windows should you know, just give Start, up the yeah. megabytes and kill the yeah. bytes and just go with memory blocks. Yeah. Something <laughs> completely arbitrary. Yeah. Completely yeah. practical. Yeah, no, they, one and two they had, had uh, yeah, they had blo Yeah, but see, every game There's took about one or two, <laughs> and uh, there's like. Eight. No, the PlayStation eight, Two had no. an eight megabyte card. That's right. yeah. It was an eight megabyte card. It was a PS One memory PS1 card. Had, so. blocks, had yeah. blocks. Yeah. Fifteen blocks. So Fifteen blocks. Yeah. Yeah. That's how backwards that's Nintendo is. <laughs> yeah. Just won't or, give up on more that. More forward thinking. Maybe they folded <laughs> it in on themselves and they're just. Yeah. 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 Did you hear someone asked at the at the Valve CES conference? Oh yeah. They're like, what do you think now that Xbox has announced their figures and everything? And he's like. We seemed okay. We've sold sixty-four million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they have that many. Uh, they have that many accounts on Steam, so they're Wait, like, "Oh, we have sixty-four million. Um, yeah. yeah, and it keeps going higher. Yeah. That is crazy. crazy. I don't know. There's just something about <laughs> Valve that I just I support. Yeah, unconditionally. Yeah. It's like Google. Yeah. Does. I'm completely okay you with them making tons Google. of money. Off of me. You know, it's just. All right, well, if you want to go into that direction uh, first... I'm conditional. Let's go into that one direction. <laughs> if you want to go into that direction first, we'll talk about Steam Machines. They announced 13 Steam Machines right now. Yeah, a lot of pictures, not a lot of actual sizes for the machines themselves. But uh, the, the crazy price ranges... So three of them were... Three of them, three of them were listed under $1,000, okay? Yeah. Two of them that were at 4 dollars and up. Okay, so they're already at the price of Xbox Ones, not even as cheap as PS4s. Okay. And then the other one was five nine nine. It doesn't matter. One that was six thousand. Yes, I'm <laughs> getting to that. Uh, two of them, two of them are a thousand uh, at about eleven hundred dollars. Two of them are mid thousands. One was a range from eighteen hundred okay, to two uh, to six thousand dollars. <laughs> so it's Holy like shit. different configurations completely. Yeah. And then there's the digital Storm Bolt Two, which is twenty five hundred dollar liquid cooled. Whoa. That's basically what you're paying for. Mm. Liquid cooling. Wow. And and for viewers who are current, for the two <laughs> viewers, uh, can you translate those figures into bitcoins? Yes. <laughs> well, Dogecoin. Um, what it's like no, Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Yeah. Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Well, how many? Did, how much are bitcoins worth now? Like a lot. One there bitcoin worth, like, is the one Steam machine or something. They're worth like one. A, Abaddon, I believe. Abaddon, yeah. Abaddon, yeah. Or three memory but blocks. It. It's 1,000. No, it went, back up. Jokes. it went back up. It went back up to oh, yeah? 1,200 oh, or something. Because okay. wow. China fucked them really? over a little bit. Uh, Too many inside jokes. No. Anyways. Yeah. No, no, seriously. China tried to fuck them over a little bit. I don't think that was an inside joke. That was a jab at the Chinese economy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> right, let, me, let me get back to this liquid cooled one. It's basically, they're calling it a small form factor, like a steam machine <laughs> hybrid gaming PC. Okay, so it's like... Hmm. The only, they're very loose with the term steam machine. Basically, all you need 
is Valve's approval and a Steam OS partition on your system. Okay. And then you're considered a Steam machine. So they're basically selling PCs yeah. with OS on it and Valve's permission, and they call it Steam machines. Now, the only one, there's uh, the last one. Okay. The last one of us. The last one. Of us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> basically, this is what was what everyone thought Steam machines would be. Very portable, small kind of things. This thing is about the size of a sandwich. Okay. Oh. So it's like four inches by four inches by like two inches high. Holy shit. Yeah. So you can put it into like a backpack or like a purse or something like that. And just as long as you have a TV, a controller, and a HDMI it's cable, specs. you're good. Um, it's basically, it's not really trying to compete with basically the digital storm one. That one is like, it's, <coughs> they said it's not, they're like, we're not trying to cater to console people. We're trying to be like super hardcore people that want to do like, they have a new 4k monitor and they would want to play every game at 4k. Makes, like who the fuck is that catered that, to? Like seriously? Makes no sense yeah. because all those people are going to build their own PCs. Yeah, exactly. yeah. They're not going to buy this. Anyways. So this thing is more like a gaming laptop without a screen. There's no price point for it right now, but it's. Like, you can get pretty decent gaming laptops, so that's basically how strong it would be. That's kind of cool. The question yeah. is, is there any value in the Steam Machine name? Yeah, like, Eventually, everything's going to have it. Yeah. Eventually, it's at this like point. A step of a no, I don't know. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna well, the, pull back the reins on that probably eventually. No, they're saying the only way that this thing could probably make money is if they start selling exclusively for the Steam Machine, like big titles. No, but it's just PC games. They no, said no, they no, never want to do that. No, but that's what I'm saying. That's the only like way Android they're going to make a solid like amount of money on it. It's by subject. making things exclusive for it. If they don't make yeah. things exclusive, no one's going to want to buy it. They need a reason. It, to... it doesn't even have to be like a, a big, like a, not a big name title, but rather just like it could be ra any like bunch of indie games. Half-Life like, 3. That's good. <laughs> that's a good that's indie game. That's yeah, a small game. I've yeah. Yeah. Team Fortress no, 3, Half-Life 3. They, can, they, can, they, can, they, can, Steam machines. they can just throw money at a bunch of indie game developers and say, like, listen, we're going to be developing whatever game you want, whatever, yep. but only for our Steam machines. The problem they is, that, Gabe Newell said from the very beginning that is not, not what he that. wanted to do. He didn't want to release these Steam machines and have exclusive games come out for it. He's like, he just it's it's a fucking PC that hooks up to your TV. I That's why know. I don't know who they're fucking catered towards. Because they already have PCs. That are <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. But it's like... But the... Okay, the thing... I think the thing with Steam Machines is that the form factor. It's like bringing something that's easy like a PS4 or a Xbox One Yeah, that's whatever, the whole idea behind it. And you just... Yeah, but so this, you don't have to worry about this huge fucking ugly piece of shit tower. Well, yeah, you have a gigantic tower. But yeah. <laughs> some of these are like mid-range like that. Uh, that's a ugly piece of shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Mine looks good, though. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's quite, quite attractive. Does it look like a sandwich? Is that, that's what it's a big sandwich. It's a big-ass sandwich. It's a very sandwich. black sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I love black sandwiches. <laughs> Well, they had some specs, Filled but with uh, I didn't get black because I like my sandwiches, especially <laughs> my when they're shoved into my, my, my coffee, <laughs> my sandwiches. <laughs> but see, anyways, the thing is, other than the small steam machine, they didn't give any size, like any dimensions for the size. They had a bunch of pictures. Some of them looked bigger. Some of them looked smaller. That well, digital storm was like... It's a work in progress, right? Yeah. They have prototypes. Yeah. Yeah. It could change until exactly. it comes out. I'm yeah. like, I feel like the... Actually, well, these things are coming out at they, the end of the month. This month, are you some, serious? some of them really? are, the wow. digital storm one is releasing at the end of the month. Holy shit! From what I've seen, the specs of what's inside them, you can still make it. Like if you make it yourself, it'll be slightly cheaper. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you can build your own steam machine, but basically, like I said, the only criteria you need the to steam be a steam OS. machine is Steam OS and Valve's approval. So I mean, you can have Steam OS and not their approval, and you're like a steam. What's another thing? Like I don't know, a, a steam box. Machine? Yeah, exactly. Box. Steam automaton. <laughs> wow, that is a lot of the draws. Yeah. Good job, Adam. <clears throat> okay, anyways. Sure. Yeah, bad. Yeah, Let's continue. But yeah. Uh -huh. Wow, that's kind of. I still uh -huh. would anybody would What's anybody Steam? here buy a Steam machine? This oh, no, motion? I I just built a PC last year. I'm not gonna fucking I'm buy another gonna one. I'm gonna build a PC soon, anyway. My laptop is probably dying soon. So rather than getting something practical like another desktop, I think I'm just gonna take the plunge into something for them. <laughs> another thing is though, this just needs a, a partition of an OS. Okay. Okay. Of Steam OS, half of these things still have Windows on it. So oh, maybe it's strange. better for you to buy a steam machine and a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse yeah. and put it in your backpack. And Redefining laptops. Don't joke, that might be the future. Seriously, <laughs> you get small enough it's monitors you have that to carry your own power supply. Yeah, you can have like places oh, that... You need a separate bag with the plug it in. Yeah, you, know, you can have places that can that only have monitors and you plug in your own your own box. <laughs> that's true. You can dock it, right? Yeah. No, we can start it. No, it's a coffee... 
It's a coffee shop that just has monitors. You have to bring your own computer. <laughs> Yo, uh, that's true. BYOC. Though. BYOC. BYOC. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. Except for coffee. That's actually <laughs> powerful. Powerful yeah. advertising. Anyways, back to my original point. Like, I really don't know who that we've said it before. I don't know who this is actually. Yeah, I, I sort of feel like I'm kind of the targeted demographic. That's why I thought. Demographic, yeah. targeted. Targeted demar- demographic. Yeah, demographic. Demar- demographic. demographic. Something. Dem- something. I'm the targeted person because I don't I don't know that much about computers. I want yeah. portability. I like consoles. I'm still being drawn to the fact that consoles are attractive to mm-hmm. me. I think that I might, but the, I don't know. Like, well, I would, would you just make your own? You wouldn't make your own PC. You wouldn't put. It I feel like it's pretty easy now. I have enough friends who would probably yeah. be able to help me out. It comes with the Steam controller, right? The weird, yeah, no, yeah, it comes with the Steam controller. Well, potentially, because yeah, I feel yeah. like that's gonna fail pretty horribly. Really? Apparently, no, it's I, supposed to be really good. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like people will flock to it. You know, mm-hmm. if they don't sell enough Steam machines, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like. Could do well. Yeah, we'll see. I feel is that Steam should release their own version of the Steam machine. The only ones that they're ever <laughs> releasing are the 300 beta yeah, systems that they I mean. sent out. They don't, they're not making any of them. But they what? should. You yeah, know why that? should they? No, I didn't are, because they're they're not not any. Well, then I'm definitely not buying this. I, I assumed <laughs> no, that, that... PC that makers are making Steam machines. It's yeah, all third-party. They're party. just selling the OS. That's why I said all you need is the criteria is a Steam OS on a partition and Valve's approval. I think Steam should make their own machine because it's like... It's your own brand, right? Yeah, but see, the thing is, people would only buy those, and then no one that's would buy what, any of the other ones. But that's that. That's they don't what want to I do that. Like that's kind of the been. point. That's like Sony, like saying, "Oh, you can release <laughs> Playstations, and they can look no, whatever you want." I feel it's like it's similar to. I mean. Yeah, it's more similar but, to Google. But the thing is, no, it's because they have that's Asus, that's they have LG, but, but now they have Nexuses, right? Yeah, I, they I was that's what I'm saying because they realize how stupid all these phones are. There's like a shit ton of phones that are all Android, but there's nothing specifically like you know. And Google only. Yeah. And again, I ver- know very little about tech, but the Nexus, as far as I understand, is is optimized to fit the OS or something. Well, yeah, but any like Android phone technically should be. No. I again, I, I'm probably wrong. I'm just saying. I thought that the Nexuses, the Nexi, were Nexi. Specific- <laughs> That's what I said. Nexi. I thought they were specifically. I, I thought that they were better phones because that they they were made by I don't know, Google something. Well, something HTC like actually had a diagram of like a flowchart of how development goes on Android, and it's pretty messy. Like it goes through too many steps to get you know finalized. Yeah. Mm. So just having a Google only product is great, versus I, I figure it's the same thing for Steam. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I guess, I don't know, I'm, I'm confused, mostly. Mm. I think that they've made very both? sound business decisions, and I feel that this is something that's them overreaching, you know? It just feels like it, it, it might succeed, but I just, I feel like it was a very poor strategic decision, and to me, I don't understand the logic behind it. But the thing, like, I don't know how much Valve is paying these companies, right. like, maybe it's the other way, maybe you have to buy in. Yeah, but definitely. You said that it's just, you have to put your... They need like, their approval. No money, That's it. Yeah. Like, well, who knows? Maybe yeah. there is some background money getting tossed around for approval. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no one knows. Likely, but I'm just saying. I'm I'm curious <coughs> because Valve already makes so much money. This decision and this decision, which has become very public, almost seems like it might even be detrimental to the brand. As Brandon has brought up, there abs- there's no consolidation on what they're trying to do. It's this aimless. It's, yeah, yeah, but see, it's just like is, how Google is with their Android platform. Hey, man, that dog that they're that they just bought that company, that Boston company. I'm gonna buy that. They got by the military the, dog, the, the automaton dog. That's <laughs> sure. That's I want a mule that can carry how many tons Have of you seen, Like Google is bought up about is it twelve or fifteen? Wow. Like. Uh, Robotic companies, yeah, yeah, because yeah. they're gonna build they're their gonna, own they're, they're, Android. No, they're making Spanish. Android. Android. People have said that. Yeah, yeah. you Everyone probably saw that, that on iO9 everywhere. <laughs> it um, no, actually, I no, do. I saw that. There's a, at least I could do comic where it's like Amazon. So it had Amazon, normal Amazon. You see a guy walking around with a parcel, <laughs> and then it's Amazon Prime, and it's like you know, like a truck or something like that. Oh, then it's like Amazon that. Air Prime, so it's a droid flying it, yeah. and then it's Skynet. <laughs> just <laughs> has this like robotic man. <laughs> It's, uh, it's funny. <clears throat> it's funny how we've been reading science fiction novels for the last 40, One 50 day. years of, of this happening, and yet we're so absolutely removed yeah. from yeah. any sort of resistance to this it's happening. It's all of man. It's because more near no one thinks it's going to happen. And Are NSA. you serious? Everyone is making... <laughs> sorry? The NSA. And everyone yeah. makes <laughs> jokes. Everyone makes jokes, but no one actually There's expects it. Sure. Like like that's our own plan. hubris. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. To quote Kwong Wong. <laughs> the government for sure has a plan. <laughs> <laughs> no, because look, if the government already has a plan for zombies, 
<laughs> for zombies. What? <laughs> 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 World War Z. No, the disease control plan. World War Z. It has a plan already in case there's a zombie outbreak. Okay. So they have to have them yep, for Skynet. Yeah, they wrote that up in like a half hour one afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> they tell everyone that they had one. Probably, but still, they probably... <laughs> they were bored. No. Nope. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Which one? The indestructible <laughs> one? What, 33 tech? Uh, Is it food? Anyways, I'll, I'm going to segue off of that because you said something about like the brand awareness or whatever. Mm-hmm. And just you said something about being like, if anyone could make PlayStations or whatever, it would be like Steam Machines, right? Right. So... PlayStation Now. Did you guys hear about that? Yeah. No. That yes. Fucking awesome. Yeah, it's like Netflix for video games, essentially. But it, because you can basically, it's what they're saying is you could potentially, um, was it rent a title per se? Okay. Mm-hmm. So if you don't want to actually get a subscription model, you could rent a title on a per title basis kind of thing, or you can get a subscription base and be able to play certain platforms or something like that. I'm not exactly. They didn't actually what? give any pricing or any specifications for this but it would be pretty sick because i want to play ps1 ps2 and ps3 games the coolest thing huh? is that you could play it on your tablet on yes your that's phone, the thing or your at first now it's going to be yeah. ps3 ps4 um vita and bravia tvs so sony products right but eventually they want to expand it to phones tablets so you can play ps3 games on a tablet yeah. which is what you're saying right? Or, right but on any like on any android tablet or something like that it doesn't have to be a PS3 sony product on your Xbox. Yeah, just, yeah. But I'm see, sure that's an interesting point on another level, right? What will that do to Sony's brand, their PlayStation brand? Yeah, it'll well, cease to exist. Not necessarily not because it's still their PlayStation brand. It's it's a standalone thing. Like Netflix, it's its own brand. This is PlayStation now. It's the Netflix of video games. Yeah. But at least for uh, the Sony products, it's not going to have any Xbox games. It's not going to have any Nintendo games, <laughs> unless there's a company that comes out like like a GameFly. But instead of actually like sending out copies we'll just, of games, we'll just wait for Steam to do this. Yeah. <laughs> the thing yeah. is, everyone's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe Sony may be thinking a bit way too forward. Might, they might be like jumping or biting the bullet a bit too early. Mm-hmm. But I still think it'll work because of the Sony name. I know. Yeah. To for them to succeed, they have to be ambitious. That's the thing. You have to aim high. That's true. Yeah, when PS4 start, stops, like, yeah. start to slow down and selling, they can just put PS4 servers and just stream <laughs> the games. Uh, that's oh, true. It's not bad. Seriously, it's impressive. <laughs> yeah, they also want to add like add trophy support, or if the game had online play, you'd be oh, able nice. to play over the PSN. Whoa. In, like PS2 nice. games online, mm-hmm. if they you, were, you would be able to play them like that. So technically, they're bringing back online play for old games. Now. Exactly. Or, I, because the know. servers would run on the PS4 servers. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Essentially, or the Gaikai servers. Um, the other thing was that the beta would start at the end of January on PS3s. I'm not sure why. That's the thing I read, so I don't know. <laughs> it's only, in, it's only in the States. It's uh, not in Canada or anything. We're never going to come back. <laughs> yeah, no. Anyways, the games that they would have would be like The Last of Us, Beyond Two Souls, God of War Ascension, and The Puppeteer, which is oh. that indie game that's was supposed to be indie? really good. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's pretty much all the games at CES. Yeah. Um, other than that, it's supposed to roll out in the summer. But they said spring originally, but, you know, summer's better than nothing right yeah. but this is basically what i thought it would be like i figured that well, they would have a back catalog of games to stream when you say summer's better than nothing are you t- are we talking about weather here or? <laughs> the weather's pretty shit yeah <laughs> if you're in north america it's cold as fuck it's not- <laughs> if you're in like pretty much the whole the it whole country, yeah. the yeah. north hemisphere i got back and it was like eight degrees at minus eight degrees i was like minus eight's not so bad no you missed the minus three missed weather the minus, yeah it yeah. feels like minus 40 bullshit what was it like in europe it was fine it was yeah. a bit rainy but is it always raining? It like it's always raining. It's always raining. Degrees. Yeah. It's yeah, always raining over there. It is. It's pretty. Is it really always raining in Philadelphia? It's like a couple of weeks, or it doesn't. Oh, yeah. that's horrible. All right, Everybody onto the games. Your yeah, <laughs> that's, that's why their comedy is so much better because they have to be funny. It's very macabre and melancholy. Macabre. <laughs> talk a lot about death. And talk macabre. About death. <laughs> macabre. Yeah, that's a real word. Check it. No, Shut it's not macabre. macabre. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> macabre now. Macabre. Yeah, it's macabre. so hard to pronounce. Macabre. 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 It's dark. It is dark. What's wrong problem. with you guys? Anyways, <laughs> on, on the like I feel like I should look that up just to be sure. On to the games. Unless right. I'm wrong, then don't look it up. <laughs> and then we'll just never we should, know. We should make a game called Mac- Macabre Abaddon. <laughs> Macabre Abaddon. People will be like, I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> that's it. A good, that's a good title, though. I don't know what the game would be about. It's not it's basically like, in the least. It's yeah. basically like Beyond Two Souls. Exactly. Oh, what's that? Nah. We're gonna settle this. No, I was gonna do that too. I have the same thing. Oh, there you go. 
Macabre. 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 I have the I'm same right. thing so, I was going to play. So <laughs> Macabre is nothing. I just... Macabre. Macabre. <laughs> so, uh, but we'll stick with Macabre. 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 I feel like we should go through the dictionary and find out what word Sean's been mispronouncing for years. <laughs> Frustrating. <laughs> Frustrating. It's very frustrating. 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 Anyways, okay. No one must. Okay. Calm down. Okay. Continue it we on. We had an educational moment. That was good. Okay. Very educational. Anyways, so this week, <laughs> I ate a sandwich in the size of a steam box. Yes. No, thank Anyways, basically, I continue playing Assassin's Creed Four. The story mission still blows shit, but overall, the game is still a ton of fun. That's well, because you weren't here last week when we were talking about it. But the story missions, if you do too many in a row, they just they kill you because they're all just fucking follow this guy. Ease drop on this motherfucker, oh and you're, they always carry you through these heavily restricted That's areas. Restricted. They always carry you through restricted areas, and there's like 30 guys everywhere, and they're always looking every single direction, so you can't possibly get through un unseen. It's fucking so annoying. Shit. In one direction. By the way, I ended up just using darts on everyone. Yeah, just, uh, darts are amazing. Darts. Like, if you have to assassinate darts. someone, just okay, do it without getting detected. Berserk dot. Okay, I'm gonna run off now. Yeah, no, that's when, <laughs> you're, doing, when you're doing the assassin, the assassin <laughs> contracts. That's the easiest. Yeah, Berserk asinine, dart. Asinine Creed. What are we talking about? Creed. Yes, asinine. Asinine. <laughs> asinine Creed. I didn't mispronounce that. For the record. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, that that is definitely the easiest thing to do. If you're doing like uh, assassination missions, you just berserk dart the guy you have to kill, and he eventually just dies, and you get the stealth bonus, and then you just run away. It's barely. You get fifteen hundred dollars. It's barely worth shit. So it doesn't even matter. <laughs> You I just blew thirty thousand dollars on my hull upgrade. Okay, so I mean, oh. like, is there still that the really annoying whenever you start a mission, it tells you how to get the optimal way of getting this mission? No, it and tells then immediately you immediately after upon failing, it gives that huge X on the screen. And says, I always had yeah. to pause it to figure out the it tells additional you the, objectives. It, it's additional objectives. You don't have to do it. It's just for the hundred percent. Does it show yeah. up, or do you have to? It memory? shows up, but it only says at the beginning for a little bit, and then you have to press start afterwards to That's see good. it. Because in the third one, it was very pronounced. It was always, it was always there. there. I didn't like. Yeah. That. No, this time sometimes I miss it. Sorry? How does Andy have to, how does he press start on PC? I don't understand. I have to type. Press start. <laughs> start. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. press so he like escape. runs back <laughs> a little bit. Like. The game is still very enjoyable. Um, I really enjoy actually just fucking sailing around, blowing up a ton of ships. I start taking on Man of Wars now or whatever. And usually half the time, like when you blow up a ship, you take the swivel gun, you just kill everyone before you even get onto the <laughs> ship. But the ships are so tall, I can't even shoot anyone anymore. <laughs> it's crazy. so dumb. Uh, That's smart. That's oh, annoying. Yeah, you have to if you do it in a storm and then you're lucky enough to get a big wave, you're able to shoot everything. <laughs> but it's very like situational. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, I'm still having a lot of fun with it, and I should be able to finish it this week. I finally started streaming again because I haven't really been doing anything in the last two weeks. But uh, you said it's situational, so it's like situational <clears throat> comedy because yes. we're all laughing. So it's a sitcom. Well, we've also it's, come it is a sitcom. <laughs> we've also come to the conclusion that Adam wants to be a pirate. Yeah. Oh yeah. Apparently, there's a there's a NBC is coming out with a TV show about Blackbeard in really? the fall. Really? Yeah. Why? Pirate TV show. Why? Is it called Black Be uh, Blackbeard? I can't. Light? I think it's called Cross something. Cross Road. It's a bad name. Cross? Yeah, I just call it Blackbeard. Yeah, yeah Blackbeard. they should just call it Blackbeard. It's just like Hannibal. I no. can't remember <laughs> what. I can't remember no what it's called. My, I just know it's coming out. No one got my Anchorman reference. No, <laughs> the second Anchorman. Well, the first one. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have been playing uh, uh, Splinter Cell. Yeah. So Matt and I. Yeah, Matt and yeah. I've been playing Splinter Cell Blacklist cooperatively, and it is a lot of fun. Together. Wait, you haven't? Wait, the single player is co-op. No, no, I haven't played. I, I've, only, played I've only played about three hours of the game, two of which have been with Matt, and one of which has been the tutorial by myself. And, <laughs> How long uh, are you on the tutorial? Sorry? One hour? One hour? Uh, well, time? that's a no, gross it's exaggeration. Less, <laughs> it was about 40 minutes, <laughs> minutes, 30 minutes. It doesn't take an hour. <laughs> so, have you, have you played Blacklist? A, no. Okay. There is a cutscene, quite a long cutscene. Uh, well, yeah, it's quite a. And it's um, it starts off so horribly. So, we've played about, or I've played about three hours of the game, and uh, most of it has been cooperatively online. And it's been a lot of fun. Um, I actually am surprised at how much value there is in the title. There's a single player, which I intended to just play. Then there's this cooperative element that you can be playing online, and I think locally as well, which is yeah, this is which is screen. enough. It's pretty substantial. I guess we can put in maybe four or five hours worth of time. There's split screen? There is split screen. Split screen. Wow. Um, I, yeah. I had to actually split screen to get the mission done. What? Why? The because first he, ones. Because yeah. it was taking too long. <laughs> so, anyways. Um... Yeah, there are certain missions you have to play cooperatively, and they're sort of narratively driven. It feels almost like a like a a mission within the game. Then they have this equivalent of horde mode, but it's handled really well. That's the co-op you were doing. That was one of the one of the nights nice types of co-op. Yeah, 
there's three. But one, what you can do two of them by yourself. One you have to do with a person. So yeah, how's there three types of co-op? Because okay, the you can way do two of them by yourself. In the story, the way the story works is you do your missions just based off the SMI system, which is like whatever his computer is. Okay. And you have a team. There's four of you. There's Sam, mm -hmm. Briggs, uh, Charlie, and Grim. And each one of them in the <laughs> in the story mode, you can talk to like between missions, and they'll give you missions. You can go on them by yourself, whatever, mm -hmm. or you can do them co-op. Two of them are, you can do them by yourself. Briggs, you can't do it by yourself at all. You either have to do it split screen or online. Yeah. Okay. Which is nice. Thank you for contextualizing uh, that. It, it is important to note that each of these missions have sort of a different flavor. Yes. To them, which is nice. There's a thematic difference between them. Uh, all I can really comment on is the, this horde mode, because it's interesting. It felt a lot like Uncharted 2. Do you remember playing Uncharted 2 with me? Yeah. I don't know if I... The horde mode? Yeah. That was fun. It was a lot of fun. And how the game was surprisingly in-depth. And this feels like that, but it feels less arcadey and some, somewhat more realistic. In that... Well, per perfectionist. I'm perfectionist, yes. But honestly, it feels a lot like the terrorist hunts in... Um, in um, Something in Las Vegas. What are those? Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six Rainbow Vegas. Six, uh, Rainbow Six Vegas was amazing. Um, and it feels like I that, love that game. Where there's this... Where there's stealth... But it doesn't feel like it's being forced on you. You feel like you're a special <laughs> agent because you have, you can climb, you're very acrobatic, but you're moving quicker, you have a lot of gadgetry. It just feels like they've modernized Splinter Cell in a good way. I might be wrong in saying Well, this. I would have just said because they, it feels like they took out a lot of stealth. Okay, like, I they remember, took out? Yeah, like I remember yeah, playing the first since Splinter Cell, con and they gave you a gun with six bullets in it, yeah. and then that's why you have to beat the mission. Yeah, but now, <laughs> you're just fully armed with <laughs> all these armor. Let's rewind for a second. Who would drop a special operative in a mission with only six rounds in a pistol? It doesn't make... Just because this guy is badass, and he wants to tell his friends and get laid when he gets back, that I only have six <laughs> Obviously bullets. not, but still. Like, but it, it doesn't make sense. He's not to kill anybody. Not. He's never supposed to kill anybody. Why not? Though? Yeah, no, I because I remember in the first Splinter Cell... you're not supposed to be seen. Yeah. You're never supposed to interact with anyone. But the worst is, yeah, don't be seen, don't be heard. I have a silenced pistol, shoot a guy in the face. Oh no, you fail. The fuck? No one heard me. <laughs> the guy's dead. He can't tell <laughs> anyone. <laughs> <laughs> they, found him. They, they must have found him later. Uh, yeah. bullshit. Why can't they why can't I hide him? Where are you gonna hide him? They're gonna find him eventually. Well it doesn't matter, you're gonna leave and then it won't matter. When they radio you and be like Joe, you know, your round is done. <laughs> no, oh Joe isn't picking up. I That's guess he left. If a tree gets cut down in the woods and nobody's there to hear it. No, it's so much noise. Really make a noise. But a silenced <laughs> pistol and a dead guy don't make noise. Anyways, what I'm getting at is I feel that the series has evolved. It's more combat oriented. Than yeah. it's, it's more, but I feel like it's handled well. It is. It's handled very. It's well. handled very well. I don't, I don't think a lot of the slack the series has been getting. I feel is 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 poorly placed, and uh, I I think I will continue to have a lot of fun with it. The co-op seems like a lot of yeah. fun. I I guess I'll have to play some single player to one. Yes, more probably. Which is okay. You're yeah, okay with playing most of these missions twice. I guess yeah. I'm professional. Oh, I still have to beat them. Yeah. yeah. You beat like, it? Yeah, I did. I beat it. Okay. I'm not a professional. <laughs> not a, I'm doing that now. Oh, you are doing that yeah. now. So you're going to play literally through everything. Yeah, well, I had to do it a few times already. Okay. Um, anyways, what I'm getting at is I feel that they've... A lot of the different philosophies that the different Tom Clancy games have had have folded in nicely on the Splinter Cell series. And, you know, it has that <laughs> Rainbow Six Vegas feel when you're engaged. And it doesn't feel like you're failing when you're shooting at enemies. There's there's a satisfying feel to getting in gun gun combat. And at the same time, you can you know climb on top of things and drop down on people. You can stab people. You can silently take down people. It's a very flexible game. And I think that there's a lot of value in there for people who like third person stealth action games. Anything to add to well, that? That's it. As you were saying, because of the three people, there is three different modes, and they're each specified into a different type of playstyle. Okay. Because there's three different playstyles for each level that you can actually master. There's silent, which is not not disturbing anybody. Like, I just go through the level, not hurting anybody, not being seen. Mm -hmm. The second is Panther. is being quiet, but taking everybody out. Okay. And then the third is combat. Okay. So that's it. Breaks is mostly combat, because there's the two of us. And then uh, the, the horde mode is better to do with silent, but still killing everybody. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is just pure stealth. Okay, but so... Uh, when you're doing the co-op, are both of you the same person, or no? Because that's it. One's Briggs and one is Sam. Okay, yeah. so you each play differently, different operatives. No, they play the same type. Yeah. It just depends on how you want to play. Yeah. Okay. They look they look different. There's a different skin on them. Well, one's a they, black guy. One's a white guy. Once, yeah. yeah. But besides that, your equipment is fully transferable, which okay. is a little disappointing. I was hoping for two different operatives that would be getting different different types of resources that would force no, you No, it's to... whatever you buy. <laughs> okay. Right, again, decide. but that's not... So saying. there's We're... really nothing really that differentiating them? No. Not yet. No. Sucks. Well, right not now yet. there is, because I have more stuff than him. I have the best equipment and the best jobs okay. and all yeah. that. Yeah. 
And he doesn't have much. No. Or a radar. No. <laughs> but it's fun because eventually I'll become better and yeah, so that's the horde mode he still gets you still get killed in like three hits. Yeah. No, I get I get killed in two hits. <laughs> but yes, it's a fun game. I mean, it there's is a lot fun. of replay value in it. I haven't played online yet. Half the achievements are online. So far, I've, I'm at 40%, so I'm only yeah. missing 10% left in Mercs versus mode. Spies, okay. which I'm pretty excited about. Yeah, the last 50% is online. Okay, cool. It's going to be interesting. Brandon? <laughs> I beat The Last of Us. Oh, good. Wow. How Fantastic. was the ending? Without ruining it. Was, no it was fine. It was just that, I don't know, like the way it ended, it didn't feel... It wasn't expected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was good, though. No? But it was good. But I like, still don't know what it is. But it wasn't logical. <laughs> It didn't make any. It didn't have to be. That's the whole idea. Of it. <laughs> like whatever. Oh yeah. The choice at the end wasn't logical, but it it's still it yeah it works out. It's it's kind of an open ending. I was happy with it. It's just that I feel like I don't know. But it's a human answer. That's the thing. It's a human ending. That's what would happen in actual. Like I feel in an actual world that's in a post-apocalyptic to whatever happened to this guy. Yeah, but like think about it logically speaking. You you're in this world for so many years and. I don't yeah, want to spoil we, it, but like... We, yeah. we can think about it logically because we're in a third perspective, right? If we were in his position, in that type He's of... He's already fucked up. As yeah, that's is. why. That's He's why already that, fucked up from the fact that... I'm not... I mean, this is an early spoiler, but his, his daughter dies. In yeah, the obviously. Mm -hmm. So we're already fucked up. He's already fucked up from that. So I guess from that point on... He's never really changed. He's always, I guess, wanted another daughter. Yeah. Okay. And I guess you see that from the start with Ellie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he kind of warms up to her because at the beginning... Yeah. He just didn't want, didn't want anything yeah. to do with her. And... Yeah. yeah, as it progresses, like it's there's more and more want to like I even I as a player playing this game, I felt really weird when Ellie wasn't there. When I get, when I get broken apart from Ellie, mm -hmm. I felt really bad. Like something's gonna happen, and Ellie's not here, and I'm worried yeah. what's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. Like like there was one part where we got split up, and I was freaking out because I you can see like. She's going down. Yeah, she's going down. Like, oh, I don't know what's gonna yeah. happen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's a good sequence. So movie. yeah, I mean, good game. I really loved it. Um, it's just that I feel like Naughty Dog as a whole, like when I play Uncharted, when I play like The Last of Us, I feel like they've babied me in into these mechanics. Because mm -hmm. right now I'm playing Assassin's Creed Two because yeah. I, I played. I don't know how many hours I played before, but when I bought it in like oh like 2010, I never played it. <laughs> <laughs> are you continuing a save, or are you just I'm never continuing played? a save? Oh my god! Wow. Oh, you're right. you have a you're right. what's, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I, I, no, I have an idea. You're, uh, you're an assassin, you're I Italian, and I have a creed, <laughs> and you have the creed. I have a creed, um, like the band. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'm going into Assassin's Creed. I was extremely frustrated, mm -hmm. frustrated, frustrated, yeah. frustrated. Mm. frustrated. extremely frustrated, frustrated that. with the. Um, the mechanics, I was really pissed off the first time I got, I mean, I, I popped it in, popped the skin, and I'm supposed to scale this huge building, Yeah. and he's not able to climb this, like, really tiny <laughs> portion for some reason, because... Gotta hold R2, man. <laughs> I was, I was oh, doing man. it, and I'm like, okay, hey, I was really pissed off, and then yeah. my brother's like, you need to find the alternate route, but it's stupid. Long story short, <clears throat> I've been playing pretty much all day today, mm -hmm. but a good, like, maybe, like, seven, eight hours today. Okay. No work? It's gotten, yeah, no, not work. No today. work. Um, but essentially, I'm getting more warmed up to the mechanics. But the thing is that I find Naughty Dog just spoils you with easy mechanics because they don't want to really. It's not for the mechanics, really. It's more like it's their story that they're trying to deliver. Oh, it's for the experience, right? They yeah. want to make a very approachable game but that's still really fun to play. That, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Assassin's Creed is more like an actual game. Mm -hmm. It's more of a game kind of game. Yeah, we're... Like, they don't want you to. They, it's not only the experience, but it's also like the gameplay itself. It's also the mechanics, like scaling this huge tower or something like that you yeah, gotta, yeah you gotta take your time and like yeah. analyze everything otherwise you're just gonna fuck up and have to start again you might like splinter cell then mm. that's what they do in their levels i've never liked splinter cell <laughs> no but this like splinter i said cell. this splinter one is a little bit different splinter because cell. of the combat they've added yeah they've actually made it so that there's different routes to take as well mm. you could take a stealth route and they'll give you bonus for it but you have to look for it you can't just stumble upon it you have to look oh I can climb this pipe yeah. to this ledge, and then I can go up but, this ledge, and then... That's yeah, the thing. I'm going... <coughs> transferring, not transferring, but... I don't have the word for it, but, like, moving from <clears throat> The Last of Us to Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed they're kind of, like, polar opposites in that way. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, the, you, there, there are multiple ways to approach a scenario in The Last of Us, but there's always an easy way. There's always a, the direct way, and it's pretty easy to, like, like go through it. Mind you, I was playing it on easy for the sake of just being the yeah. game. He's been trying to get through his backlog, so he's playing a That's ton good. of games yeah. on easy. Yeah. I'm not even playing games for 
the difficulty. Although You're not I found playing them for enjoyment. <laughs> I'm I got it. I want to finish them. them. It's a job. It's yeah. it's become a job for me now. So <laughs> really, yeah, it is. No, um, but yeah, I found that the mechanics were very are very babied in Naughty Dog's games, and I I played Uncharted on like extremely hard too. Yeah. It's and I easy. find that yeah, and I find it is really easy. So playing <laughs> The Last of Us on easy was pathetic. Was it really was pathetic? I felt like I should have swapped back to normal, but I just said fuck it. Uh, Uncharted <laughs> is hard if you play it like the way I was trying to do it. All stealth. Okay. It, after a while, it becomes impossible to do stealth because the the AI just acts <laughs> stupid and yeah. they all just stop moving. Yeah, well, when I'm playing Assassin's Creed right now, basically what happens is I try and do everything stealth like, and when one person sees me, I say fuck it and I just kill everyone. But that's realistic. I mean, you <laughs> that's don't have realistic. To, that's it's realistic. They're supposed to be looking around, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, the best experience I had with The Last of Us was playing it on Veteran, or the, which was, was the like highest. The difficulty. level you, the hard you unlock oh, after you can yeah. play it. Yeah. I've yeah, three times. Wow. wow. So, in quick succession. And the best, yeah. Like, and did that affect your enjoyment of No, I loved it. Like, even, like, the hardest difficulty, like, playing New Game Plus on which the hardest game? difficulty? The Last, Last of, of Us. Okay. Because and you lose the, that vision that you can't see through walls and stuff like oh, that. Oh, really? Wow. So, like, don't you get less gear? That's annoying. Yeah, yeah but if you... Don't you get less gear as well? Yeah, a lot less. Oh. No shifts, really? Yeah. It's harder to shift things. Um, how does that affect, like, the minute-to-minute -minute combat or the minute-to-minute -minute exploration in The Last of Us? Well, by mm. the time you've got to the hardest difficult you kind of understand how the ai behaves right. so like it it becomes easier in that regard right but the fact that like you are definitely more careful with what you use like you use a lot more bricks and you go up to people with the bricks and like bash their heads in mm -hmm. and stuff and so you're a brick man a of, <laughs> brick man, uh, you're, a brick man. Brick. you're not a ball yeah, man no, no i'm a brick I'm man a too man those bricks <laughs> I think everyone's a brick man. Fuck so the bottles. Yeah, the yeah, only thing funny. I use bottles for is distracting people. Assassinating someone with a brick is hilarious. <laughs> Me, I mean, I mean, we've spoken about the the whole. I don't know if you were listening to the older podcast, but the, basically, I find it funny how you're there's quick time events, but not really quick time events, but events in which you have to press these buttons repeatedly. Oh, yeah. And I would like, for example, God of War, you would have to lift up like yeah. uh, open like, chest. You were talking chest about this last week. So I would just like give up. Like I would just like press it very slowly to see Kratos <laughs> have a tough time opening a chest. <laughs> or I mean for I mean just Same have thing in the last example, of us with yeah. the chains. Yeah. Like having a, a tough time <laughs> opening a gate. It's like, uh, uh. <laughs> and the animations are horrible. <laughs> it'll, it'll skip the sound will just skip and it'll just like go from this to like that. Like the frame would just drop to from there to there. There's no actual uh struggling not so, not struggling but like an actual transition from that to that yeah because they didn't expect <laughs> people to you know do that yeah i don't know where we're going, but, <laughs> but yeah all right anyways andy you were playing assassin's creed 4 in england did you play anything else or you just pretty much destroyed that i destroyed it I <laughs> like i i basically wow. the way i played i basically unlocked the whole map and then i just did I took over all the ports and everything before I carried on with the story. So oh, that, wow. You didn't so do I, any of the story? Like, barely any of it. Wow. So, like, I was at about... <laughs> I completed the game with all the extras up to about... Okay, I did a bit of story just at the beginning to unlock everything. But yeah. then... I must have been about a third of the way through the story, and I was at 60% completion. Oh, God. <laughs> so, I was pretty OP for, like, the whole rest of the story. So, it was pretty easy, though, eh? Yeah. But you guys like, make it sound, no opposition. You guys like, make it sound like the actual story is horrible. So, it's almost you, like... The, you know, the, the story is, cool. is so much more fun. The story is good. Like, the story is okay. It's just the story missions are garbage. <laughs> There's a difference. Like, the cutscenes in between the story missions are good. The story missions themselves just make me want to kill myself. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. But no, but the actual, but everything about the game is fantastic, except for that, right? Yeah. Some of the missions are really... Yeah, some good. of the missions like, are cool. the eavesdropping stuff. Yeah, the, there's too many eavesdropping things. Yeah. That's the problem. And I, I find it funny how, like, it asks you to rate the mission after you've done it. I know, it. every single time. I'm sure every single eavesdropping one, one is like... Yeah, one. one star. <laughs> I've never, I, I never even bothered to rate yeah. I never. Why would I rate one of the damn missions? Well, so you rate it for your so that I can never put exactly. a news dropping mission in there. They want it. They're doing that for feedback. I guess. Yeah. But I was gonna say that reminds me of like like I'm saying I'm playing Assassin's Creed two now, and I beat like one basic mission, and there's this part where there's a part like of of the map, I forget where I guess in Florence, mm -hmm. but um, essentially it's like a merchant area, but the map isn't complete yet, so I can't access the full part of the map okay without getting desynchronized yeah so that actually happened to me before it was really annoying yeah 
I was so trying to get to a treasure chest, and it's like, you can't access this yet because of the memory you're in. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. What? No, yeah. so it's because you don't have, you're not that it's far. Fucking stupid. Yeah. It's Adam. the smallest little island that I'm <laughs> assuming nothing's on. Makes no sense. Anyways, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's one treasure chest. That's it. Anyway, so um, basically, in this random aisle, it's a merchant kind of area. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of people, right? So I just keep on stealing their money. <laughs> uh, my, my notoriety goes up, but the thing is, it doesn't go any higher. Mm -hmm. So I've stolen approximately like 7,000 florins or whatever. <laughs> How and long were you there for? I was there for maybe like 30 minutes. <laughs> I, I, I just circled around. The thing is, there's one part that's desynchronized. I mean, that's blocked off because it's desynchronized or I can't access it. Yeah. But my best guess, me and my brother are wondering that the, the guards are on the other side and they can't, they can't for some reason access it because I don't get the guards coming over. Oh, shit. In that one lane, in that area, yeah. okay. I, I just circled... In between, it's like a two lane area. Yeah. I circle in between. I just cycle. Keep and I keep on stealing money. their money. I know they're gonna touch you. But the thing is, if there's people that are there, they're talking. I punch them out to get rid of them. <laughs> I'm like, get the fuck out! I need some money. <laughs> so I was at it for a good, like 30 minutes or so. God damn. I made like three or four grand That's in so one retarded. shot. <laughs> like, well, the best, the best about the old ones was that you could just hold the button to steal. Yeah. And you, you can, can do the same thing in the fourth. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because you got rid of it in the third. Yeah, you, you can, can do the same thing for when you're looting people. Like, you just hold a circle one from the third. Well, that's it. Like, <laughs> you just hold it. You just walk up to somebody and you just start stealing things. Like you just walk into a group, you'll steal six people's money <laughs> in one shot. The third one's just that, right? Yeah, yeah. I've never played it, but well, I've heard it. The worst thing about the third one is that it, it, it tried existed. very hard to make that it every, was existed. every every one of its story missions were very unlikable, and you make it sound like Assassin's Creed Four is the exact same thing. Yeah, but everything else about the game is fantastic. Yeah. He likes pirates. That's no, but it's still fantastic. Assassin's Creed 4. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Like Are is. you playing on a PS4 or PS3? No, PC. PC. Oh, yes. PC. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the Master Race over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was on a laptop, so. Oh, God. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. I played Assassin's Creed 4 and I played a little bit of Surgeon Simulator 2013. Yeah. That game's fantastic. amazing. Fantastic. Yeah. You're just doing this, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, like why is that game have you guys fun? played it? It's no, hilarious. I it's seen hilarious. Okay. I've seen so, it. It's fucking okay. hilarious. The controls are really awesome too. Like by awesome, you mean horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wait, it's like, you have to play with an <laughs> Oculus Rift. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh shit. No, it's like so, those racing ones where you have to hit the four buttons to move. Oh god. Yeah. yeah. No, no. It's, it makes sense. Ones? though. Oh, you mean the what's like co -op? the co-op? Co yeah, co-op. Co so uh, E is like like you basically place your hand down on the keyboard like this. Mm-hmm. So you basically rest your hand like that, and then each one is it controls your digits. Okay. So if you want to grab something, you put down all fingers, and it like closes your hand. Uh, okay. And then you have all these. Yeah, but how do you rotate your hands and shit? Ah, the mouse. The mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so so you, move, you, move, you move your hand with the mouse like one this, right? If no, you, you want to rotate hands, your no? hand, one hand, you hold the right mouse button, mm -hmm. and it like starts wow. spinning and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> And then the left mouse button is like bring your hand down. Oh god! <laughs> so, so you're like. So you're how like, oafish are you when you're when you're doing surgery? Have you ever seen any <laughs> of these? Yeah, right, right. It's so right. dumb. There's a laser. You can grab a laser. You can turn it on. You can start zapping people. <laughs> yeah, everything cuts in half. It's really really. You retarded. just walk around and zap people. Like yeah. on, oh, well, you're always on your screen. Yeah, you start. You start inside of a, a hospital, then you move to. I was like, a you start inside of a yeah. ambulance. Yeah. I saw <laughs> someone do UFO. I saw someone start this. Basically, it starts. You get a phone call, so you have to try and pick up the phone. Yeah, but it's like impossible. <laughs> you're like, you're like, you're trying to answer the phone, yeah, like, and then you have to. It tells you like. It tells you to look at the tutorial video, so you have to try wow. and pick up a VHS tape. Inside, VHS and this floppy disk. You can't. You can't pick it up and put it in the slot. It's impossible. You're smashing it on the force. It's true. You'll like go to pick something up and you'll like hit everything like, I've, else. I've in like the actual, like I'm trying to do an operation and I like go to pick up a tool and I pick it up and my hand just goes <laughs> and like I knock off the tool that I need next. <laughs> like, like, I'm like, okay, the heart is now like the heart that I'm the thing is, trying like, to transport. This is, is kind of like as floor. if you were drunk. Yeah. The best What's part the is point? It's not even a simulator. It's, just like, it's like a drunk surgeon simulator. <laughs> You can get the, uh, what's it called? You can get drugged up. Because mm. you're supposed to be able to drug him so that it lowers the blood loss. Yeah. But if you get pricked by the needle yourself, your screen goes all fucking blurry and <laughs> changes colors. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Kwong, what have you been playing? I've been playing one game. I've yeah. been playing Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Oh, I've been, I was going to pick that up, actually, in a week that or two. That game is <laughs> amazing. It's a lot of fun, actually. Yeah. You're yeah. playing with cooperatively? Yeah, I'm playing with my brother. Okay. And I... We spent like thirty hours in one week just playing that really? game. It's so addictive. How does it work though? I've never played any of the Lego games. It's just it's like a, a beat 'em up, right? 
It's a beat em up, like uh, the story missions are pretty much platformers. You have to make jumps. Story you have to, missions? Yeah. There's, there's like side quests? You've never played yeah. a Lego so. Okay, so how it works is the story missions are pretty much platformers and it's also like beat em up games. Okay. But uh, once you're finished with that, you could explore an uh, open map, essentially. And like for this one, it's New York City. Okay. You go in the Lego version of New York City and it's amazing. Oh, that's as well. cool. And it's like it's very seamless. It's similar to GTA Five, where it loads once, and, and you could it. you could go from the helicopter, jump off of it, and land in New York. Or if if you're a flying character like Iron Man, you could fly from like Central Park all the way back onto the helicopter. It's very okay. seamless, and like there's like a hundred characters and really? all wait, 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 there's a hundred characters. Yeah, you I was gonna ask how many characters. I was gonna ask how many characters there were, but like holy minimum shit. Minimum a hundred and you only start off with five, so you're just getting more and more. Yeah. And like if holy you're familiar shit. with Marvel characters, like there's like characters that like what the so hell is this guy? Obscure yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, now <laughs> I really want to get it. Like I was, I was planning on getting it because it sounded really fun. But yeah. Yeah. once you've completed some, like you, there's a lot of replay value as yeah. well because the the characters you unlock later yeah. on in the game, they have they special, special abilities. Yeah, and you can reuse them back exactly. in the game. Oh, that's cool. Levels. And like uh, the thoughts they put into like each character is uh, amazing. Like everyone is different from one another, wow. and like they capture the character himself. Like yeah. Magneto when he fights is like instead of like punching people, like you, like he gets like three like pebbles yeah. and just throw them at people. Okay, but and there's like yeah. all hundred people are di like well, well some different. can be some can be repeats, some can be repeats but like it's not like say, Dragon Ball Z game no. where like fifty percent of them are like the same. I would say like at least half of them are completely different from wow. one another. That's insane. Do they have voice acting in this? They one? have voice yeah. acting. Okay. And it's very well done. I and think you played thirty hours of this. Yeah, that game is. Just oh, you crack. can do that with all of yeah, them, man. I know, and you're not even anywhere near like. No, I'm not even. What the like, fuck? Uh, These games are so good for like, completionists. Like, yeah. you you can go Filled crazy. With exactly. That's insane. Because like to track your progress, there's like golden bricks. You okay. Collect every time you finish a mission or complete a side mission, mm -hmm. and uh, there's like 250, and I'm like at two. No, I'm at 125 at the moment. I'm oh, like halfway shit. through. Well, so like to finish it all. And you've just been playing with your brother? Yeah, I've yeah, been playing with my brother. That's amazing. Yeah. It's a good experience. It's actually that's pretty crazy. great co-op game. Surprisingly <laughs> simple and easy, but it's too much fun. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I, I've, I know someone who's played the... Uh, there was a DC... Yeah, the Batman. Batman. The well, Batman one, exactly. The Batman one. funny. Yeah, and and it... Uh, again, he said that he'd played with his brother, coincidentally. Right. Yeah. And... He it played for me. like sixteen hours. It was hours. the same guy. It was the same guy. Yeah, it was his. I would talk to his brother. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he said he put like sixty hours into it, and he says he just had so. And I, I own it. I paid fourteen dollars for it. And it's considerably less fun by yourself, but I can definitely see the value in it. It just, oh, right. it's, a, it's a very good video game. You have a lot of fun just enjoying. As you can tell your friends. I look yeah. forward to playing it. Yeah, you can tell the person with you. And uh, yeah. one side note, I'm finishing up is that when I bought the game, is that. I bought at Walmart where it came with a small mini fig. Okay. It was a uh, Iron Patriot. Okay. I bought the game for like twenty five dollars, but the uh, Iron Patriot mini fig is worth thirty bucks. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, shit. yeah. <laughs> so Have you pretty sold much. The mini fig? No, I'm keeping it because uh, <coughs> I could act them. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So you, it was on Boxing Day or something. Yeah, it was a uh, Black Friday. Really? You special. went into the states? <laughs> no, I went to an obscure a Walmart places... that nobody goes to. So they had like three copies of. I just pick one up. A lot of places here do Black Friday now, too. Oh, yeah. 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 They have Black Friday sales. All right, Kwangwa, what's the question of the week? The question is of the week is uh, it's the beginning of the year, so I want to hear what your guys' prediction is for gaming for 2014. What and, the uh, prediction is? Yeah. Wow. The more controversial, the better. So uh, my prediction is that Oculus Rift is going to go mass market this year, and it's Pretty much gonna change gaming forever. Yeah. It'll never be the same. Yeah. No, I can mm -hmm. I can agree with that because like it's I, I think it will probably release this year because yeah. the, I saw the new update that they did with like yeah. the 1080p displays. Yes. Yeah, the yeah. CES thing. Yeah. So they had they had cameras on the outside of the Oculus Rift. So when you have it on your head and you start moving around, it, it moves it yeah. around in the game. Well, yeah, it's kind of like you know the motion cap technology. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure. Yeah. Like uh, they have a ton of like. IR reflectors, I think, and then they have one camera and it can track. Yeah. Oh like, shit. So it follows you. So now, like, if you like, kind of zoom in to try and get closer to a little screen, it'll get closer to the screen, right? right? Wow. So that would be pretty cool. I actually saw something on Dragons Den 
It was actually, I, I don't watch Dragon's Den. It was on you Kotaku. You just said you saw it. It was, like, <laughs> it was on Kotaku, and I saw a YouTube clip of it, okay? Omni. This guy came on, what? The Omni, right? Yeah, the Omni. The, the Omni yeah. with the Rift, okay? Basically, this thing was like a, tread, a treadmill where you get strapped in, and it's like uh, you don't move around on the treadmill. Like, you're strapped in, and then you have, like, um, a motion control thing in your hand, and then the Oculus Rift, and you just, you run around to move around, and then it has, like, the guns and shit like that. <laughs> And obviously the guy that's done it a lot looked okay when he did it, but then they got one of the guys from the Dragons then hooked up, and he, he was <laughs> awful. He couldn't do anything, but it was hilarious anyways. Yeah. It would take some practice, and it would probably make you fucking tired as shit, but it looked pretty cool. And but it would be it, like a... Like, well, the Oculus Rift itself is like three, 400 bucks. Or? No, no, it didn't. No. Because of the price value. The Oculus Rift thing. itself, which it depends on, is three, $400, and the treadmill itself... Which is a second add-on. You don't need it for the Oculus Rift, but it needs the Oculus Rift. Is another like four hundred bucks. So you're looking at eight hundred dollars there, and this is without any games. This is just the equipment. So that's why they didn't want to back it. A treadmill simulator that comes with the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the treadmill is pretty cool. Like there's no moving parts, right? They've no. got it's just like a concave. Yeah, it's concave, concave and it's uh, like. Um, and then you put like these low resistant soles on your yeah. shoes, oh, and you like just kind of. Kinda, yeah. Slide. So, like, as you floor. put your foot down, it'll slide down the concave mm -hmm. surface. Really? So, it oh. but does it right feel down. like you're running, or does it not feel like? You're I running? don't know. Like, I, I, think I just haven't tried. It. It's not feels like you're slipping. Yeah, it. sliding more than you're actually. Well, no, because you're harnessed in, so you can't fall. So it actually like it's like you're already floating in the first Isn't place. It never emulates too much equipment. Like <laughs> that's why it's four hundred bucks. But it never <laughs> feels like your body never feels like it's running so much as it's just getting into the motion of sliding its foot forward. I'm sure it would be completely like it would be a skill to be able to do it properly. Yeah. Yeah. But it just honestly like as an outsider, it looks completely stupid. I'd like it to <laughs> yeah. be. I'd like it to catch up and be less ridiculous. But yeah. like when you see them like. Jumping yeah. and stuff, they're like it looks like, crazy. It looks really jump. stupid. And like, or when he's crouching, it looked really yeah. dumb when he crouched. It's ridiculous. It yeah. was ugly, but it looked it looked cool. But it was and ugly. The, uh, one thing, um, you know, Joe Blow. Jonathan Joe Blow. Blow. Yeah. You know Jonathan yeah. Blow. He had an interview recently, and he was asked what the like where he thinks VR is going and everything. Sorry, and uh, <laughs> he <laughs> says the most impressive VR kit. He has seen is from Valve. Yeah, really. So what? Really? They have, they have a, a VR secret kit? VR yeah. machine. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm yeah. surprised he was even able to say that. <laughs> but, um, he probably got. But this well, is before the. <laughs> this is before the slap on the wrist. The new CS, yeah. the the new Oculus Rift. Okay. Okay. Uh, kit, but like, I think there's gonna and apparently Sony has their own in the yeah. works too. I guess that's where the future is heading. Radical, I guess. What you you want it to be as risque as possible. I don't think it's <laughs> well, risque, it's a controversial. There you go. We did controversial. Better. Better. Just, I don't think it's controversial. Yeah, it's I don't want to hear like, oh, PS4 is gonna sell more than Xbox. Well, no. But I see, predict the thing that is, the PS4 will continue to sell consoles. No, but see, the thing is, like, both consoles, <laughs> both consoles are gonna continue selling. Google obviously. Isn't. <laughs> The Wii U probably... Well, it depends. I mean, like, if they what release some really good games... Yeah, but it, Nintendo, if, if Nintendo's, <laughs> If Nintendo releases some really good games, they'll probably sell. But I think we're going to start seeing some really good-looking games. Because right, right. now, the, the, the launch titles for the PS4 are a lot of fun. And the same thing for the Xbox One. They look good, but they don't look, like... They're just crazy like, good. They just look like 1080p versions of PS3 games. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They look nothing, better, but, you know... There's nothing crazy out there right now for the new consoles so i'm looking to like later in the year there's probably going to be some crazy shit that's going to come out yeah, like, cool. there's going to introduce a new gaming mechanics that we've 4D. never seen before i don't think that would happen okay. like what kind of new game mechanics could we 4D. possibly see 4d yeah that could totally happen this this generation <laughs> there's gonna be a lot more there. there's gonna be a lot more social aspects going into the gaming which they're already starting to yeah. do but that might be the only new sort of gameplay mechanic that would be added Okay. Like that, you might see, but I, I'm not sure what they could I, really I do they that would do. change anything. Instead of extra jump, they can use triangle for jump, <laughs> and then that would fuck everyone over. Yeah, that would really screw with people's <laughs> yeah. minds. Uh, yeah. I think that there's going to be much, much fewer console RPGs, and I think to the point where I think the PS4 will just not really support the genre. I think it will be moving almost exclusively to PC through indie and RPG maker-esque RPGs. Uh -huh. And on uh, portable, so the 3DS is going to support a lot of the RPGs. I'm not sure about that. I mean, PS4 is trying to, and, and even somewhat Xbox One, they're going to start later off because PS4 started right away. Right. They're, they're trying to release, release a lot more indie titles. 
Well, indie, fine, but I'm saying RPGs. Oh, RPGs well, in general. There's Sorry. Witcher saying... 3 that's coming out, and it looks amazing. Right, The Witcher 3, but that's one RPG. Yeah. I mean, like, the, the PS2 era, the PS1 era, they had a lot of them, and I understand that it was a question of there being limitations, which had caused these RPGs to flourish, right? And now that there's not these limitations that people are exploring, I guess, action titles, adventure titles, thinking that it sort of fills that that need but i feel right. to me personally it doesn't it doesn't capture that uh, yeah. that energy that i want yeah and so i think personally even just this year i can count five or six um rpgs that well, I can you count seven they're though? obviously jrpg seven seven RPGs, yeah. there seven. really wasn't that many compared to like ps2 days when there was like one every the other ps3 week? yeah there was less there was less than less than 20 right i mean it isn't it wasn't anything substantial no. and a lot of them were suffering because of it Final Fantasy Thirteen, for example, was notorious for it being too quote unquote linear. It was a whole. It was a yeah. It was a it was a Call of Duty RPG. Um, <laughs> Call of RPG. <laughs> anyways, I think that that is unfortunate, but I feel that that's what's going to happen. They're going to fall back on the irony of it is they're going to fall back on the limitations of the portables as comparison to these PS fours, and create these uh, very interesting and mechanically innovative <laughs> games, but that will be strapped to quote-unquote backwards technology well i hope you're wrong because i like my rpgs but i don't i don't portable game i don't play games on my phone i don't have a ps vita i don't have a 3ds i don't have time for that, time for that. Got <laughs> you have so you play so many games yes. now because i have so much free time yeah but even after that you still play games not a portable no not portable. It was easier if i was going to school or work because i knew what i yeah. wasn't driving yeah, but from I'm someone like me, I don't actually have my console in my room. Okay. So, and my laptop doesn't really play anything. So, my portable gaming is in my room, and I, I get enough of that. So, I'm, I'm happy personally. And I think that as I'm getting older, um, down the road, obviously overthinking this, but I have, I have a family, things like that, like there might not be time on a TV. I might be You go sit in like, your car and play in your board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the ignition on and just close the garage door. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, what that's that's what <laughs> Turn the 3DS and play fall asleep. Permanently <laughs> <laughs> fall asleep. The car is still running. <laughs> Well, 3DS is uh, car power. It needs yeah. need the car to put me <laughs> on, you know. That's what I think will happen, personally. I think that there is going to be a consolidation of genres. Mm -hmm. There are going to be a lot of these pseudo adventure action games that will exist and they'll flourish because right. people like to just play Quick satisfaction yeah Quick the satisfaction. completionists yeah exactly those yeah. things there are going to be a lot of first person shooters that's what's going to become the yeah. future and the but portable it's, it's already this it's the present you no know yeah. i'm saying that the portable market will become increasingly oh. these uh, these rpgs and mm -hmm. these more what used to be popular I don't even know. <laughs> Actually, that, that's my prediction. Well, I don't go. know what's going to happen. Honestly, I couldn't care. You can care? No, I don't think... Okay, to be yeah. honest, my prediction is that there's going to be a lot of people moving to PC gaming. Yeah. Because Steam has taken so much influence on people. Like, I see people are willing to build their own PCs now. Yeah. Building PCs has become idiot-proof. Like, it's a lot honestly, easier. Buy a kit. Well, yeah, you yeah. buy a kit. You can buy. I mean, I was on Newegg. That's what I did. I bought a kit. I, I was on Newegg trying to build a PC, and I was on NCIX, and I built the exact same PC. It was just, it was cheaper. But long story short, I found a combo deal on Newegg. I saved myself like 150 bucks. It's pretty good. And I mean, it's the same exact thing. I'll save 150 bucks if I just buy the pre-made stuff. Yeah. So they're telling me, don't build it for. Don't build it. We'll build it for you. We'll test it out for you. You save 150 bucks. Well, and it's really good. Really? It's better than you wanted. Wow. Does so, it work with Windows too? Or? Yeah. And it was like wow. 11, it was like under 1200 bucks. Oh, wow. okay. What was this and for? Sorry. A desktop? Computer. A yeah. desktop PC. Really? Well, yeah. It's good. For like a, a gaming PC. Like it's pretty much everything I'd wanted, but more than more than I wanted. Yeah. For cheaper than everything I wanted. Everything and more. Yeah. So And they do it for you. And, and they do it for you. It doesn't have I was to fucking build, build it like a chunk. Yeah. New egg. And they send it to you in parts? No. They build it for you. They take a hammer and break it. No, because yes, you buy the case, a right? <laughs> I mean, if you buy the Where's case, the it's the same form factor, right? Oh, okay. So if you buy the case with the parts inside the case, it's yeah. probably cheaper. Yeah, that's cool. They didn't <laughs> attach them inside. They just put them in the case. So you just have a case with a bunch of loose parts. Parts that's flying awesome. around. That's awesome. I'm <laughs> just quite, I'm quite well, long story that. short, I find a lot of people, uh, my friends included, um, giving up on this generation. No, but see, the thing is, at the end of the PS3 generation, I didn't play my console game. I didn't play any console games. I played maybe two or three in the year. And I played, like, for the last, like, two years, I just played PC games, pretty much. But now, with the PS4 coming out, and the, the actual, like, resurgence in console gaming with the new technology, I want to play console games again. 
the, that's the reason why new systems come out is yeah. to reinvigorate your passion for it. <laughs> but like, at least that's my experience. For me, like, it. I think PC is going to get a huge jump in membership or, yeah. you know, whatever, gamership. Yeah, <laughs> gamership. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't find that Steam is taking the right approach at it. I, I really don't find Steam is doing, like, I mean, Valve, rather, the Steam machine mm -hmm. is doing the right thing. I, don't I, know. I really, like, like maybe, Steam as a platform works maybe perfectly. Maybe it's a bluff. Maybe, it's Steam maybe they're not releasing any no, of these because machines. they don't, they keep everything a secret, right? But they've released so much information about these Steam machines. What kind of bluff would it be? No, it's <laughs> all about half like three. They're pretty <laughs> transparent. No, no, but say they're coming out with this Oculus, the counter to the Oculus Rift. Mm -hmm. They're keeping it so secret that they're just going to throw this other thing at you to keep people distracted for a while. Okay. Until this comes out, so people aren't asking questions. Mm -hmm. All right. Andy, anything to add? I'm with you on the Oculus Rift. Like, yeah. VR, VR is coming. VR is coming? Yeah. VR is coming. Yeah. VR is coming. Yeah. VR is coming. Yeah. But how much is that going to... How, how would you even incorporate that? Would that be incorporated into a separate piece of hardware, or would that the, just play with... I feel like you'll... Like, you know how people are buying bigger TVs now? I feel like it's going to go back to small screens on our face. On your face, yeah, but that's that is <laughs> infinitely bigger yeah, because, like, exactly. it's there's no reference. screen, there's no screen yeah. that can fit my entire view. Yeah, it's like it's well, yeah. a movie, a movie, uh, even at the movie what theater, buy, I still have peripheral vision. You, what if you buy, you would like, need a, a screen that could round. What like if you that? buy a 3,000 inch TV? <laughs> yeah, that that would that would be completely around me. Exactly, fine. that's the we only way that, that would happen. Make it happen, <laughs> or <laughs> we can make it happen, or we buy like a bunch of monitors around you, it's like, like. Ten of them yeah. around you, like forty inches <laughs> each. <laughs> It'd be perfect. That is completely. And you run it off like a three million dollar computer. <laughs> so, like each computer has its own graphics card. We not don't, to not mention gonna... how much, how like bad my electricity bill will be. <laughs> don't worry, I got that. Going. <laughs> and on that note, that's it for us. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Facebook, Pinterest, <laughs> Amazon Pinterest. wish list. Uh, <laughs> I have a bunch wish of my list. Amazon wish list. You YouTube. Know? Anyways, <laughs> check us out next My week. Space. YouTube. Check us out live. Have us a message. Yahoo. ICQ. ICQ, man. <laughs> See you guys.